You know, I've been thinking, if I was offered a ride on a UFO chariot as my way out of here to travel the cosmos, I think I would go. And as far as the ascension process, transforming, I don't know, there's different methods. If you read the Gnostic scriptures, some say fasting, uh, some say waiting until that seven trump, some say dying, some say, I don't know, just connecting with nature, uh, there's different ways to achieving this divinity. Uh, I don't know, some say accepting Christ in the orderly arrangement, but you know, there's so many fakers, you know, people don't lie to us so much. I don't even know who's who now at this point. A lot of us don't even know our origins. Some say we're, some say I'm a blue genie, <laughs> a titan, uh, I don't know, some blue devil that the most I just put in the path of some of these uh, Anglo, Gentile, Edomites, some type of soul. Uh, I've heard so much Loki, uh, Daniel, human, maybe fallen age of that. I don't know. Um, my thing is, in these end times, I'm just learning from different, like, entities and beings, humans from different realities, other than the one I was at maybe a few months ago, about a year ago. Uh, if I could go back to the third reality, I feel like I'm in a mixture of 3D and 4D and maybe could gravitate and vibrate higher if I wanted to. And probably I should. I think I feel like I'm resisting. I could easily vibrate higher and feel like I'm resisting uh, higher vibrations due to my own program that I instilled on myself that's probably keeping me at a lower dimensional way of thinking than I should be. Um, but, you know, everybody's got their own way. Oh, you should fast, do 21 days, blah, 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 you know. Um, others say you could just eat healthy you don't have to go through all that I'm, I'm like I feel like I'm trying to relate to all lanes you see so I want to go through certain experiences so other lanes could relate to me <coughs> that's why I'm putting myself in these situations but the problem is you know when you jump in all lanes and stuff like that a lot of times there's an imbalance <coughs> and if you're going to be doing that you know <clears throat> that's why everybody wants to get control and stuff they're putting out threatening videos and stuff like that everybody wants to <clears throat> play their card like their swords right like this is my trump card this is what i got <clears throat> this is how i stay in control this is if you start messing with me too much this is what you can expect blah 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 <clears throat> that's why everybody tells me stay in your lane I'm like, well, which lane? You know, I haven't really made one. And every time I do make one, I feel like they're going to try to steal it or put me back in the lane with, with, with the rest of them. So I'm like, if we're all one, then I can't even have my own lane, right? And another thing is everybody wants their own, you know, uh, plans or, or decisions to be implemented in these times as far as being one you know they want a one uh cosmic conscious and earthly conscious but who is that going to benefit you see you know every time i do feel like we're all one i feel like i'm not myself i'm not conscious as one i feel more uh conscious uh having access to my past because it fuels me to move forward um i don't know there's people everything's so divided some say you know this is this is shouldn't be this way i'm like i don't limit myself i don't limit the makers the creators the creatures but there are like you know one of the brothers said sanctions and you know guidelines so I can't just go into somebody's lane and do whatever the hell I want, you see. I gotta know what they require, how do they want me to behave, what to do, what not to do, you see. What can they tolerate, what what they don't tolerate. Some beings are sensitive, you see. Like if, you, if you're like me, you got a, some say a sick sense of humor or very outlandish sense of humor. It could come off as, you know, arrogance, cockiness or just, uh, I don't know, being overbearing, I guess, at times. Alright, so 
even think of, think of it as prideful, but that's just me being my clown self, so you know, I can't just jump in the lane. And certain things that I find funny that are probably not even funny, I'm asking myself, man, you know, why am I finding this funny if this is serious? Where am I finding, where is the humor in this? Maybe it's because I look at other entities and beings like, man, you would, you would do this to somebody? Or do, you, you got the, the courage, the guts to do some crazy shit like that. I consider like outlandish that I just wouldn't do it unless I had no choice but to do it, you see? Like, I was there with no other options. But I don't know, to each their own, you see? My end times is like this, man. Like I feel like I vibrate, personally, I vibrate on a higher dimension than when I'm laughing, joking, you see? And when I find humor and stuff that most people would be like, that's not funny. I'm like, well, I don't know. I find it funny for some strange reason, you see? I'm just wired that way to look for maybe humor where there shouldn't be any. Uh, it's an escape mechanism, I guess, with the uh, reality. I don't think so. I just think uh, in a serious situation, in a crisis, why would I want to uh, react to it in a manner that, you know, I guess most being divine beings would expect to react and terror, fear, and, you know. Always do the opposite, but if it's like a positive thing, you see, I think laughter is, is, is good. It's, it, it helps me personally vibrate higher. Like, let's say if I have nothing in these end times other than life and joy, laughter, then, hey, man, that's, that's a lot, you see. Um, you work with what you got, pretty much. Um, but uh, a day spent laughing, you know, with humor, it's, it's not a day um, poorly spent. It's well spent. A day spent in, you know, humor. And you can just find humor anywhere, even out here. If, you, if you're one of these entities that could go in and out of dimensions, realities, got the access like that. Some of us don't got that privilege. I'm sure, man, you could be finding a lot of funny shit. Yeah, just people that you know, just do dumb shit without really wanting to. It's just naturally how some some people react and do stuff, you see. Even I myself at times, you know, have a, a, a dumbass moment. I get my dummy attacks here and there, so. <coughs> like right now, I when I'm not doing shit or, you know, I feel like, mm, if I can't make anything happen, you know, you wait for the right season or moment. You take baby steps to accomplish something. In the meantime, how I occupy my time is just learn, go, you know, walk. The, the technology that I have, what little I have, I use it to learn stuff, you see. I go watch other videos from different lanes and stuff. Uh, and sometimes, you know, when I'm bored, I, I watch some videos that I consider uh, informative and humorous. There's nothing, I notice that for me to learn more, it's, there's got to be some humor in it. Like, if I find something informative and humorous, it, it's, it's like double the joy, right? You get to learn something. And you get entertained in the process, even though they don't mean to entertain you. See, I don't look for entertainment. A lot of times, just some individuals, it's just naturally funny the way they come off. So the stuff they got to share is very crucial or vital, or to some degree at least. And the way they present it or the way they just, you know, put it out there is just uh, delightful because there's some humor to it, you know. Like some people say the best humor sometimes comes from the truth. Now, it might be the truth might be offensive to the opposing party that's getting exposed, but to those that are seeking, you know, the reality of what's real, what's truthful, that's been kept from us for who knows how long. It's a it's a win win, right? Humor and truth. So the truth will set you free. <coughs> and who's the way, the truth, and the life savior, right? Whoever that is, the highest Christ, the original ones. Uh, the highest power, life giver, and stuff like that. So, yeah, that's how I'm spending my end times. I don't know how much time we have left. I see some of the matrix have been around. A lot of you have been awakened for like 15 years now, or more than 10 years, you know, longer than me. You've been doing work a lot longer, twice as long as me. 
Uh, I'm a little worried about some of you. I think you start spending too much time down here in these bodies. So if you have access to transformation, you may want to do that now. If you have access to the cosmos, you got a UFO spaceship, you got some associates, you may want to exit now. Uh, some of you worry me a little. I think you're staying in it too long, longer than you should have. I think a lot of you have put in a lot of work for like 20, 30 years, man. That's more than enough. You should be right now. I feel like your work is done. You should be learning right now. You see, learning. Let somebody else, you know, step up. Let others, other little <coughs> small time idiots like myself kind of, you know, pick up where you just left off, you see. I feel like I have stuff to share from my perspective. Uh, fortunately, I'm not as consistent as some of you would like. But, you know, I'm dealing with being held back to some extent. Some information maybe shouldn't be coming out yet for whatever reason. But, <coughs> you know, a lot of you, you're pretty much done with your homework, man. A lot of you are just, and I'm looking at some people that I'm running into now. And I noticed they got a head start. They've been getting a head start. They're like five, I feel like five years ahead of me of what I have to learn. Maybe I could cut that time down to maybe like three years or something. But a lot of you, man, I was like, man, I'm just, I feel like I'm just waking up this year. Like, man, I thought I had most of it. There wasn't much to this true movement left other than, you know, whatever I knew. Now that I'm seeing there's different lanes, I feel like, man, there's still like two, three years at least, maybe five Here's worth of information that I could be learning. It depends on how, you know, uh, awake I am because I feel like I have a narcoleptic spirit, you know. I spend most of my time dozing off and trying to learn at the same time. So I don't mean to be that way. It's just, I'm, I, I'm just built that way for whatever reason. I don't know what the hell's wrong with my DNA or my encoding, but... <coughs> um, or my spirit, whatever. Um, yeah, it depends, you know, how quickly can I learn. So it depends, like maybe it could be cut in half. Or if I'm moving slow, it might take me a little bit longer. But I don't see myself, you know, finishing my work here when I'm 40. I, I don't want it, I don't want my work to, to go beyond. Actually, I don't even want it to go beyond 30, 31, 32. Like definitely no later than 35. So, I would say about five years at most, is it? And uh, maybe 32, 31, maybe one more year. You know, the fastest that I could learn. So, it all depends. You know, it all depends because, you know, there's stuff going on outside of the troop movement, this, my spiritual development that. It's kind of slowing down my progress. You see, I don't need to know everything, but I just kind of get, have to get an idea how things work. Stuff like that, you see. I could pick up on things, you know, certain alterations that are done and stuff like that. So, yeah, I mean, I guess some of you have just been around longer because you are the original ones teaching, right? So, you know, the first shall be last, meaning what? The first makers maybe the first of the patriarchy matriarchy will be last and the last will be what first right meaning there's an order to this i think orderly arrangement the last the first uh creators maybe are last not last but meaning yeah they, they're gonna come last in these end times and these last ones that were originally first will be first again so everything falls back i guess in the order it was uh, I'm not saying there's not potential for some of us to grow and reach those levels at some point, but <clears throat> it makes sense that a lot of these are still out here teaching. Like, you know, I see some of the goddesses, the matriarchs, the ascended level ones, whether they're angelic or you come from Eve, you call, I call them the ascended Eves or the ascended Anglos. I see them out here. I don't know how this, these timelines work. I don't know if they're controlling different avatars. To me, that's kind of gross. If I could control different avatars, I want to control different avatars. Unless there's a need to, for safety reasons. But I think just one avatar is fine for me. So, I really don't know how this whole freaky, ma freaky matrix works. But, man, it's, you know, sometimes the more I find out, I'm like, what the? I got a different perspective. Maybe before I might have been okay with certain things. Now I'm like, not okay with certain things. I think that's why a lot of us... 
a lot of you are like, why, why is everybody freaking out with the awakening progress? Because, you know, if the purpose is to change our perspective and view, if you come down here to learn, you, you look at things differently, you see. So, like before, we might have been okay with certain things in existence. Now we're probably not okay with certain things, you see. <coughs> but at the same time, one individual's uh, opinion cannot overrule the collective whole, you see. So, <coughs> anyways. So I see a lot of you are still out here teaching. You feel like you got nothing left to offer. I think some of you can do have a lot left to offer, but you just ain't taking charge. Maybe you feel you know you're done your work. You're done. Uh, uh, some of us could you know could use the, the repetition. You see, it's like a stick in our memory. So <clears throat> it all depends on you. I feel like I still, like I said, I still got a couple more years left in me. If, they allow me to get that time. If not, then maybe I could squeeze whatever I could in in this these uh, end times, whatever you know time is given to me. I don't know how much, but I feel like yeah, there's still like a little bit of stuff I need to learn. Uh, I see some of these are like 40 years old now, late 30s. I mean, I'm just 30. I uh, kind of been in this truth for like about damn near 10 years too, so. Uh, I don't see myself going in this until I'm 40. Like I said, mid 30s at best, at worst. <clears throat> but I'd rather ascend young or whatever happens. I'd rather do it young than old. But that's just me. But I don't know. Like it says in Daniel, maybe there's a, there's a blessing for those that endure beyond the period of tribulation, right? So if the point is to last, then I want it to last go through stuff that most individuals probably don't have the guts to go through <clears throat> if there's a blessing if, if I don't have to if there's nothing to gain for it then why what the hell is the point so anyways you want to be the last one standing hey, that's I feel like that's something good uh, if you don't then hey, I don't I could care less uh, all right, now I just want to get the hell out of here. Go somewhere warm. I'm in Kansas right now. I love Chicago for that same reason. It was getting a little too oppressive as it is here, but and now the weather here kind of sucks. And I'm only kind of here in this area for because of you know it's convenient for me to be here. Uh, if it wasn't, I think I'd have been out of here. Go somewhere warm. I don't know. I'm thinking warm states where the uh, climate is more tropical. At least you know. If I'm struggling, I might be, you know, close to nature and, you know, use nature as, 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 as a support mechanism for me. So, yeah, that's just if the 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 grid doesn't want to cooperate with some of us or be generous to us. <coughs> Anyways. <coughs> So I don't know what they plan on doing. How how's the the ascension process? I don't know. I think we have to go through tribulations, experience certain things. Maybe that I'm resisting. Uh, there are some things that I resist that I feel I don't have to go through. That's why you see me kind of resisting them. I feel like my heart's trying to tell me something. Don't go through this experience. I'm like, uh, if I don't have, want to, I have a right not to. Uh, I'd rather not go through that experience and go through another one. In order to make that up, you see, make for it. So, yeah, there's just some things that I, I'm I'm only gonna allow myself to go through certain things. There's certain things I will resist. Uh, nobody should shove anything down your throat unless you're okay with it. You see what I'm saying? If it's beneficial, if it's gonna help you, and you think it's not gonna help you, then that's different. Then you know. You should be broken down if it's going to make you better. Because we don't know everything. We don't see everything. So it has to do with trust issues, you see. Like a lot of us, you know, we don't trust certain entities, certain things happening. And that's understandable, comprehensible, you know, because suppose this is to make us better. <clears throat> and if we don't go through certain things, it's probably not going to make us better. But it depends, too. you got to use wisdom, you see. Like if you're in my situation, you, you you're you're limited to what experiences you should go through. Sometimes if you if you more is less, you see. A lot of us are not in positions to to uh, walk in the 
in the blessings, so-called blessings, that most of these uh, children of the matrix are supposedly enjoying in these end times. Well, I believe that's just <clears throat> their way to cope with what's going on inside them, because a lot of them are just empty. And some of us are more filled or full on the inside. So, you know, as a way to keep things balanced, you know, we, we, we lack certain things from the materialistic world. And it's all biblical scripture, right? <clears throat> so I think things work. There are some things, we, uh, you know, I still use from the Matrix, like, you know, the online, the Wi-Fi. Uh, uh, certain spots is it to connect with other believers. Um, if I isolated myself and stuff like that, I think I'd be okay, but it depends where I isolate myself. Like if I isolate myself in a tropical nice place, you know, where the weather's nice and stuff like that, I'm pretty sure, hey, if I have a few supplies, I'll be good, you see. Go through where I need to go through, and that's it, you see. Because I noticed that in the cities, it kind of sucks. The cities are bipolar, the people here are bipolar, you see. But I think when springtime rolls in, if I'm, you know, if we're still here, summertime, uh, I think I'll be where I want to be as far as locations go. I think I'll be in a better, better place, uh, spiritually, hopefully, and physically. I won't be in a, in a places where the weather is kind of bipolar, right? You know, some places, some states get the four seasons, which is nice. But if you're in my situation, you know, you want to be somewhere warm. Not too hot. I mean, if it's hot, you know, you got water nearby, then, you know, you can cool off. You see, that's where nature comes into play. <clears throat> and I'm not rejecting some of the blessings that the Matrix has to offer. But, you know, what's the catch, too, you know, because it's always the catch. And, and I don't know how things work. And I don't trust certain things, you know, when everything's going well, quick fixes, you know. So... <laughs> so no, like maybe maybe the matrix is for you more than it is for me. So it's just the way things are. So like, like you know, as far as the matrix go, I only take like small portions. You know, as I say, if the matrix you know offers you a handful, you only take a finger, right? You only take like a a small portion. You only binge from the matrix. You don't take the whole handful. That you know. That they're offering you because you don't know what repercussions that may have and maybe it's just something to see how, how you go about things so a greedy person will take the handful a, a wise sensible person will only take little right so anyways um yeah i don't even know what i wanted to talk about in this video out of recording but Where's all the truthers, man? What happened to all the believers, all the Christians? I feel like everybody just forsake the faith. Everything, they're all Christianity is gone, all the other world religions. Uh, now everybody's lost. You know, everybody's like, you got to get back on this. Like, <clears throat> look, man, prophecy's still there. Whether the wicked want to fulfill it or not. Um, the commandments are still there, okay? There's still a lot of truth in the Bible. Yes, there is a creator. Yes, there is a savior. Don't let these rebel angels or even these idiot humans, you know, uh, guide you off the path, okay? Uh, you got to stay spiritual. Um, <clears throat> no matter what they do with their technology, their uh, science, you know, we know they're trying to attack certain groups, uh, trying to steal certain things from your genetic encoding to get you in trouble with the lawgiver, the, the life giver, your original creator. And his extension, so don't let them do that to you, okay? Um, uh, just stay, <coughs> just stay in the line of fire. Have faith, right? A little bit of faith, and you know, do your part in this, and everything will work out well. Now, I'm not saying every lane is not for everybody. That's why you know each 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 group was given their lane. As far as for those that don't have a lane, they cannot create their own lane. You know, you got to let the highest power give you a lane. Just like these other entities got a lane. 
okay and, and you know if these other entities ain't gonna play fair and nothing like that then this an intelligent sensible maker is not going to give you a blessing right in front of them where these entities could copy it or, or rob you or steal from it easy they don't work like that uh if i give you something it's going to be well they don't even know what the hell you got they probably think you got nothing but they're not going to know that because it's for safety reasons that you know <coughs> certain things are are withheld from you until you're out of the crook the criminal slain right they're dimension their world their matrix their cosmos their eternal realm whatever you want to call it so <clears throat> sharing is carrying the name um i can't always see what's going on but you know i never refused anything that is to my benefit but if it's conditional you know no i'm not too sure if I want to take that. It depends who's giving it and what reason or purpose is it. So, anyways, <clears throat> as far as the things of the world go, I still keep my eye on football, uh, soccer, uh, wrestling, uh, entertainment. I still keep an eye out on the pagans of the world. Right now, they're laying low. I don't know where they're hiding at. They're keeping them separate in a separate reality from us. Uh, maybe they want our conscious to be separated from the conscious of the third dimensional beings on down or wherever whatever dimension they may be operating in maybe some of them are closer to us than we realize maybe they take different forms maybe their spirits get moved around <coughs> i don't know maybe they're where we're at maybe everybody's spiritually advancing but they're in separate realities meaning uh they exist on a like in a there's like a wall right maybe they're like we might be nearby but there's something uh, keeping us from them, um, or so it seems with our eyes. You see, uh, they might be just in a different state. Maybe we're in the same. Everyone's in the same timeline. Maybe we're just in different states. You see, maybe we're just in different states. Like what's going on? Maybe everyone's in one timeline, but everyone's like in separate states and shit like that. So I really don't know. Um, <clears throat> you know, sometimes I'm looking for individuals that I used to talk to before to see where they're at, you know. Oh, one of the homies used to tell me, you know, God moves them or one of the angels moves them around. I don't know what their technology, how they, how do they do it, but he says that they get moved around. I'm like, moved around where? And for what purpose? Uh, yeah, sometimes I just look for them to mess with them. And I'm sure they see that too. <laughs> yeah, nothing better to do, so let me go pick on them a little bit easy. <clears throat> So I want to see where they at, you see. I care for them, but some of them are not. Maybe for uh, my lane, the lane I'm in, even if they're family or old friends, you see, maybe they're better off in another lane, you know. So they're just better off not being bothered by me because, you know, maybe I bothered them enough in uh, their lifetime, right? So they figured that. Nah. So I don't know. I'm not judgmental. I guess I'm getting over that, but... I do have to have a sense of right from wrong, see. And I think that's one of the things they want to steal from us, right? The 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 commandments, but check check this out. They're taking the old commandments which are corrupt. There's a higher way of being higher level commandments that I think they're watered down and a lot of us are coming well I'm coming to the realization of that. I think they wanna steal certain things from a genetic encoding. Like our sense from right from wrong, our memory. <clears throat> a lot of things. <clears throat> Will they achieve it again? Maybe. But how many cycles could they keep, keep getting away with it? You see what I'm saying? What are they afraid of too? Like if they got everything they need to overpower us, why are they doing it in, in a way that seems kind of cowardly and weak? I mean, they could run over us. Why aren't they? That's what I want to know. You see? So anyways, um, I don't know. My days aren't that interesting, you see. Uh, I wish I was in a better position to make uh, make more interesting videos. I think I can, but like I said, they're very going to be very dramatic, controversial. I don't mean to be that way. It's just the way things are. Maybe the way things are present them. Um, but, 
you know, I'm one of the messengers of truth, you know, and uh, at the higher levels, truth and righteousness, life, sincerity. So I had to expose everything, including myself. But it's it's gonna ruffle some feathers, you know. Some some entities are scared of the truth, maybe because if you if I tell you the truth about them, they won't be accepted. Like I don't care personally about acceptance, rank, status. Uh, for you other entities, you shouldn't be worried about whether someone like myself, human or not, accepts you or not. Trust me, there's tons of other beings out there that'll welcome you with open arms, and you don't gotta do much. <clears throat> so me, it's just I have a hard time accepting and trusting because. Of everything that's going on, you know, we, we came here supposedly to be born again of a woman, natural birth, renew of the mind. So I got a different outlook now on things. Let's say before I might have been okay with polygamy or certain things like, I'm not saying that I was. I don't know. I'm talking about like in the eternal realms, the higher levels. I might have been okay maybe as a spirit being with prior lives. I don't know. So let's say we're fallen angels or gods. or I don't know if there's a difference between the little G gods and angels. Who knows? Maybe just an atomized soul with different incarnations. I don't know. But maybe I'm, I, I might have been okay with certain things in the past that now I'm not. And that's why they're seeing that I'm changing. Maybe I'm being a little too over-righteous at times. Maybe like a little too much of a goody two-shoes. And maybe it's, it, got, it got a little out of hand. So I needed to take a few steps back. Scripture says that some of these, uh, says in Dan, I guess that even some of the righteous will be made to stumble to like fall back or do certain things that they normally wouldn't do just to refine them or get them level-headed not to go too extreme when it comes to being righteous over righteous or not to fall back too much into sin into their old ways you see kind of keeping a balance so <clears throat> i mean i'm not doing nothing other than little petty stuff here and there like the other day i got locked off for trespassing after i made a not the last video but the one before that and i talked about it but they had already gave me enough warnings, you know, not to be in certain areas at a certain time, more than enough. But, I mean, I, I think that's bullshit. Esau spending his time harassing me when he could be doing a lot more, really going after the crooks and criminals that he funds. So, I think that's just Esau being an asshole, you know. And then he wonders why I pick on him and expose him sometimes and send, like, spiritual warfare vibrations his way because, you know, he's an asshole. The day Jacob stops having his brother uh, Esau as a guardian or police officer, that's when the bullying, the, the usurping of authority and, and the government, all that shit's going to stop. Uh, yeah, I don't need Esau as my guardian angel or nothing like that or his, his people you know, to be serving me. In fact, if it's not if it's not an uh, entity that's competent to be in a uniform with a badge and not abuse his power or walk around feeling like he's a shit just because he's got like a 200 pounds of muscle on him and, and a gun and a badge and shit. You know, I'd rather have a, a, a chihuahua for a for a, a guardian that makes me laugh and keeps it cool with me. I don't got to worry about him letting his uh, muscle go to his head and some uh, thug cop and shit harassing me and stuff like that. You know, having me having to restrain myself of shanking his ass or taking his own gun and putting one in between his eyes. So, anyways, uh, yeah, that just got locked up. You know, the Matrix, you know how they are. A lot of these entities, some of them are very into the drama, theater. They like uh, real life uh, uh, movies, right? Meaning, I mean, some say the Matrix is like half real and half not, like myself. You know, stuff, you do get uh, hurt physically and emotionally here. And some of it is just fake, meaning they could just highly control. So it's all street theater. Um, I don't care for that, honestly. Like, I don't need that drama in my life. If it's, like, orchestrated. If it's natural, organic. If I naturally get myself into some shit. That's cool. I feel like I could get myself into drama. I feel like naturally drama is drawn to me without me having to look for it or fabricate it. That's just how I'm built, you see. A lot of people, they need to create their drama, meaning 
write out uh, write it out in a storyline or a script. I don't. I'm, it's real. With me, it's real drama. What I get myself into is real. It's not scripted. You see. Yeah, it's fake here, but <coughs> with me, everything's organic. You see, everything's real. Uh, even though we live like in a fake matrix, delusion, wherever I may be, everything I try to bring realness to everywhere I go. You see. Uh, my behavior for the most part is real uh, same with my relationships uh, uh, the shit I do from day to day if I get myself in trouble it's organic you know so I'm just real man um, if, if I wanted to put on an act I can't I just don't know how to act that's all I know is how to keep it real I guess um, some people need to go into to character to, to 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 do certain things. To me, it's just a mode. What mode are you on? You see, everything, what some people call character, to me, it's just me being me in different areas, you see. You might create different characters for yourself to be different ways. Me, I could be all your characters, you know, and just that my natural organic self. I could show you different sides of all the characters you create you see so <clears throat> so and another thing is the purging out process that we're going through you know i feel like some of these entities want to see you know what feelings do i have for them like for the most high for your other brothers the angels and uh and i think they're getting to see that they're really bringing it out and uh, i'm not surprised about it i just haven't gotten around to it um but that's because the awakening process, you see. The more the most time I spend out here, the more I learn too. So it's a good thing and it's a bad thing, right? So some say this world could be it's a good world in the sense you learn stuff, man. You know? So <clears throat> But at the same time it could be better. So whatever they decide to do with it, you know, that's fine with me. I'm just not trying to go down with it. If they do burn the whole damn building down, I just feel that. <laughs> the levels up <coughs> so as you know as far as uh, certain experiences that maybe I could be enjoying in these sense I don't know man who's real man I only deal with the real the organic I'm not gonna waste my time with something that's not even real you see I could be the the only person in this whole goddamn thing I'll be fine I trust me I'll be just fine uh, I don't know, I think some entities want to make you feel a certain way, lonely, or like they get the last word on you, or like they want to hurt you, your feelings, or bring down your confidence, or tell you and this, you and that. Like, they feel like they need to get at you, or make you feel a certain way to feel like they want up you, you see. They don't want you to be confident, you see. They don't want you having nice stuff. Or even the stuff you have on you, just clean. <laughs> I don't know, man. Some entities got serious issues, but I guess they're wired that way. I think some of them would run too many experiments. They want to say, what would you do? But you see, the problem is some of these entities, they, they, they want too many experiments. Like, I like uh, me, I'm just learning stuff. You see, man, maybe I guess some entities, you know, they feel, oh, I need to run experiments. But how are your experiments affecting me? You see, they're affecting me in a negative way. What? How would you like it if I was running experiments on you? Like that, you see. I don't know, maybe you would like it. But, you know, I don't run experiments on others without their consent. I'm not doing things behind their back or going over their head. And I'm not talking about my head, my overseer. I'm talking about, like, literally my own self. So, you know, that's a violation of rights and existence, so... That's why I don't take a lot of these entities seriously, their matrix and all that, like, trying to make a, a big fuss over me violating certain little petty shit, when they got a tab that was probably cleared, or maybe not cleared, as high as I don't know what. So, I really don't know, and I really don't care. Their problems are their problems. I got my own. Mm. And they act like I can't deal with them or don't want to deal with them. I don't know, man. I just don't fancy being a slavery. Like, they act like I'm afraid to work for the system, but, I mean, who's running the system? I'm not going to be supporting my, my adversaries, you know? They're going to be funding more evil on this earth. Are you crazy? If you like being a slave, then you go ahead. 
go through the same cycle again not me you see so I rather use a little and work with that to enhance myself and you know go full throttle in the system and then end up you know again mercy forgive me heavenly father I don't want to die now, but some of you just don't know any goddamn better you're stuck in a vicious cycle that's it so <clears throat> I'm here to learn man I'm trying to learn as much as I can from different perspectives uh, there's certain things that will come into your life that you want to allow for them to happen and certain things that you think you want to allow for them to happen but you shouldn't you should keep your guard up so you should be discerning like certain things you want to allow to happen certain things you shouldn't so you know you want to guard yourself so uh, yeah don't forget the agenda and times to you know discard world religions no don't do that um, but at the same time you know don't cling to certain false belief systems because a lot of the religions throughout the world have been corrupted and we know that Satan wants to unite everyone some way somehow or just you know muddy the waters with his own little leaven the leaven of the Pharisees and Sadducees and a lot of these Pharisees and Sadducees they can't even move beyond the old agreement into the new one and beyond the new watered down agreement into the Gnostic text and beyond you know so I'm not making up shit I'm not adding or removing anything everything that's there is there because I don't want them to say oh man it keeps messing with it no I'm not you know that <coughs> I can't, I can't go ahead of anybody, so I'm just staying here. You know, everything's still there. There's still stuff that needs to be fulfilled. You know, you might think you might be getting ahead, but really, no. You know, only the creator. Uh, everyone's got a sword, okay? You got your sword, I got my sword, so. Um, yeah. That's what it is. Uh. I'm not too worried about what's uh, going on around me because there's a lot of it is, is real and some of it is fake. I don't even know I'm watching these people. Like, I don't even know, is this uh, an illusion? Is, are some of these uh, people downloading? Are they being sent by who, what? Is it a machine? I mean, are they real? I guess I'm eye candy from, my t from, from time to time from eye to eye. <laughs> But, you know, you don't know what the hell's out here. Only a fool would jump at anything that they see as comely, right? So, you, you know, you got different species and you got transgenders and Anglos and humans. I mean, you don't know what the hell's out here, man. You know, you're being tested and observed too, so keep that in mind. Dude, don't be a freaking fool and a dumbass because there are entities that are watching you. Like the maker and the patriarchy, matriarchy. They want to say what this fool's thinking. How does he judge such situations? <coughs> you know, if we if we do this and that, what would he do here? How would he act? All those things count for you or against you. So keep that in mind. Not everyone's gonna judge you like that, but they're evaluating you based on that. So if somebody wants to take you or honor you or or, or bless you, they're gonna be looking for certain things. You see. So you don't want to uh, stand in your own way or do behave a certain way that's going to fuck that up for you, you see. When you could be getting a lot more help if you just act a certain way. So, <clears throat> you know, just got to be careful how you conduct yourself from day to day. You know, small violations are violations, but I'm not interested in that. I'm interested. The only, the only red flags are like, oh, big no-nos. If somebody's really doing some crazy shit like stuff that I, I you know we're speaking against like in my videos like i spoke about maybe like for two three years ago you see some of the obvious abominations that are against nature and that just don't make no sense if you have any sense of what's appropriate and what's not what's right what's wrong anything that's harmful or hurtful at, 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 at high degrees right certain ways of being that are not appropriate so anyways um, that's it I'm not going to keep it too long I think it's 45 minutes in I want to end it off here at 45 minutes uh, continue the faith alright don't lose hope uh, 
stay with your guardian angels there's plenty of them around or with your human friends if they're even real um, it's hard to tell who's who right now but if you study the Bible you know you know I got here I could tell which which uh, nations I'm dealing with because a lot of the stuff in the Bible is true okay some of it's watered down and encoded but there's a lot of it that's true so I could tell by looking at faces uh, what nation they come from who they might belong to and that type of stuff so I learned a lot from scripture and I can still learn but right now you know since everything's kind of like I'm going through my rut well, I'm a little turned off by disappointed by some of the things in the scripture and some of the entities. But I'll get back to it eventually. <clears throat> and I think I'm still in it, but I'm coming from a different perspective now. Like looking at a different angle. Eventually I will make a come back to it. Um Yeah, I'll glory and praise to the most high. Yahuwah and his first extension begotten. Some say it's he himself. Uh apart from his one is his power, which is himself. Um, it's orderly arrangement. Trust me, if anybody's existence is in jeopardy, it will be the Most High who gets taken care of first and his begotten. And everything, everyone in order, right? So no one's gonna, you're not gonna say first the one that's the bottom if the one at the top needs help. So everything is orderly arranged, you see, everything goes. So anyways, um, yeah, man, you know, just behave yourselves, you know. If you got access to to, to, to to higher ways of being and different blessings that some of us don't have, hey, man, more power to you, man. You know, I wish I had that. Maybe I might mean it, might not. Maybe I'm, I feel, you know, like irrelevant, meaning could care less. Maybe don't feel neither one way or the other. Just accepting things as are. Like scripture says, you know, Paul said, I learned to be content in whatever situation I'm in. And, you know, certain things are helping us. We might not see it that way. The enemies might see it like, oh, we got them. I want to see them go through this. Up it. I look at it. I look at it the positive. Okay, while they're doing this, they're helping me get rid of these certain tendencies and ways, you see, of being less vain, less narcissistic. And you know, if you were in a war and something, you had access to this and that, the other. You have to adjust to that and get used to that and go through certain uncomfortable periods. So while they're doing you a wrong, if you're smart enough and wise enough, sensible enough, you'll see what the benefits oh. of their wrongs are doing for you. Okay, like you. like uh, scripture says, it's true. You know, I don't know if they meant it there as a trap, but scripture says that, that uh, whatever the enemy meant for you to harm you, uh, the Creator flipped it around for your good, or it, it, it benefited you. So it kind of backfired in a way. So it got balanced out. So you need to keep that in mind. It's, because oh, there's a lot of people out here, narcissistic, uh, uh, vain, worried about their, you know, their outward appearance more than focusing on their comfort within, no matter what situation they are. You know, make, maximizing your situation with what little you got. So, yeah, they're getting a kick off of seeing you a certain way because they need to make themselves feel better. But that's only feeding their narcissism. Wow, and a lot of them are stuck at where they at for the longest for that same reason. But it's refining wow. you. And they maybe not so much them. You see? Maybe you could go through more BS than they could. Maybe you could handle more than they can. See, some of us are built for these situations, you see? Not a lot of them can hack it. Some of us aren't scared of to deal with some of these unclean spirits at the low levels. So some of the stronger ones might seem tougher, but maybe they are afraid. So it's all about overcoming, you know, within as well as without. Uh, facing your fears, your demons, and whatever challenges come your way. Um, there are times you just want to chill. You don't want to spend most of your end time doing spiritual warfare and having a brutish mindset. You got loved ones, family, wives, kids. You know, you want to spend time with them. Um, if, you, if you've been blessed to help people down here, you know, you get exited and out, then do it. I would, trust me. If I had everything I need to be a greater help, I would. Uh, I'm not like these shithead uh, humans and uh, angels of creation that... Uh, could be a lot of help but they think the way to help is not to help or they refuse to help no absolutely not I'd rather endear myself to others than to not so anyways 
I hope you can resonate with this message. Um, and I'm not against anyone or their beliefs. You know, wherever you come from, wherever you came from, you know, much love, respect to that. Um, yeah, just uh, keep going, okay? Uh, charge yourself, boost yourself. That's why you got a lot of the things out here in existence as tools to help you out. That's why you got artists, musicians, music, a technology, pen, no pet, uh, clothing, food, water, women, males. Everything is for your enjoyment and to help you uh, be a better version of yourself. Uh, whether you did that in spirituality, whatever you is, you're in the new age, you're more of a, oh, anything. I don't know what, what it is you do. Me, I got to measure myself. I can't, I don't believe in just doing whatever the hell I want at others' expense or just being reckless. Maybe I could get a little careless. I don't mean to be that way. Like not too careless, but not too careful where, you know, like over worried. Uh... Everything in bad balance and moderation. Uh, I don't think I got any bad habits. If I did before, I, uh, other than maybe sometimes, you know, I'm a little careless when it comes to my eating habits. But uh, I don't think that's that uh, big of a deal. I mean, everything's GMO'd out now. Everything's spiked up. Some, some of it is good. Some of it has chemicals in it to help us. I don't think all the chemicals are bad. But if I could grow my own shit, I would. And I think it's just because I'm in the area, the, the area, the wherever I'm at, I feel like that's uh, probably affecting me. You know, that's why you see me kind of either here or there. Maybe some in some cases more left than right, or more right than left when it comes to the stuff I consume. Um, it's all about choices, man. You know, you have a choice. You know everything you know to do something or not to do it to do good or to do wrong or maybe you have you're being tempted to do wrong and you have a choice to either go on ahead with it or not that's why i think we're being examined and observed uh and eventually when you pile up a knife tab you know you get smacked in the wrist you get you know an infraction it's entities that have an agenda to get rid of you they will want you to be tempted with choices that will make it hard for you to say no and you choose the wrong enough times and you know boom they got you so you need to be careful you need to be very careful because satan always tempts you and not there's many satans or anybody that's just against you you know so if you're gonna be committing violations do it to the minute to the minimum always like minimize your wrongs offend less like the bible says so keep it to a minimum to almost insignificant where you don't need to last a long ass time just to accomplish some of the abominations that they accomplish the mistakes that they have allowed or made in existence within existence itself and eventually if these areas that you're in like where i'm at they tempt you there's the temptation is too great and you need to flee that place and go somewhere more like the wilderness or more with nature where you're not tempted by these things or these people you see uh, it all depends on their intentions you see because sometimes it might be there might be a blessing and maybe you might not they might not even care or they not even judge you if you mess up they might forgive it but you don't know that so you you, you want to be rather be safe than sorry you see because you don't know you might think you're getting away with it and the next thing you know you get down the road you get slammed over it so i don't know how to Cosmos work how the earth works, so say balance. But you know, if you can't trust the people in charge, then you just can't trust the people down here because everything rolls downhill, right? So, anyways, um, I don't know what's going on as far as changes, uh, some say frequency vibrations. We're entering into a, a phase that this is gonna happen, that's gonna happen. I don't get into all of that. If something happens, happens, I have no control over it, I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm not so f focused on what's going on outside of me because I don't know what's real and what's not. I'm more focused on what's going on within me, you see. How am I dealing with what's going on outside of me? Am I ignoring it because I can't deal with it? Or am I just ignoring it because it wants to distract me from connecting with my inner self? I think both. you got to balance. 
you got to be aware of what's going on around you, but not so much to the point you get distracted by it. And also, you got to be mindful of staying within. So it's a balance, you know. Don't lose awareness and recognition of what's going on around you. Okay? But also, remember uh, to build yourself up with it. As I'm saying, it's mind over matter. When people say that, I'm thinking, you know, think of what's in heaven, not so much about the earth, the masculine above and not the feminine below. I think both. You know, it's mind over matter, yes. Uh, but if you got good female divine on earth, the atmosphere, I like to look at it as a sequels, right? Mind and matter, you see, both. I do mind matter. I'm very, I'm very much mindful of the materialistic world, but if I don't have certain things, you see, that I'm considered materialistic, I don't let that disrupt me. You see what I'm saying? It's still, I'm still, I'm still a dude. I'm male, and I'm mindful of matter, but I don't let matter uh, get to me or bother me or throw me off course. I just know that matter is there. You see what I'm saying? That she's there. Uh, I don't let it let her disrupt me or throw me off balance. You see, I'm still level headed. You see, you see, I'm going through what I'm going through. They're going through what they're going through. And that's that's the way it is. You know, I'm here. If I can help, if they need help. They know where to find me. I can't run. I can't just go away and escape. And if I need something from them, I reach out to them. You see, so that's how it is. Now, I'm not looking at sh shit that I don't got or why I don't got it. Is that no? It's not. I'm I'm putting myself in these situations to see what would I do here. You know, running experiments, things I wouldn't do normally. But there's certain things I just wouldn't do unless I see a point to it. So I'm kind of experimenting on myself. I don't need them to experiment on me. I'm running certain tests on myself. You know, okay, so I put myself in this situation because you know. If things were to stay how they were, you know, maybe like a year and a half ago or more, you know, nothing's going to happen by you just being at home, the comfort of your own home, hardcore relief center thinking. You need to get out here in the world, man, you know, and uh, things will start happening. You, see? you can't expect to live a, a life of uh, adventure. It sometimes feels surreal, like it feels like I'm in a dream state. Uh, you can't go through experiences you can't learn stuff if you're just always going to be laying your ass down like i was for such so many years at home just on your ipad learning you're going to have to physically literally go through these experiences yourself at some point and you don't want to pass up those opportunities you see sometimes i feel like i get too comfortable even out here that's the funny thing like you can put me in some crazy ass crisis situations and i think the divine ceases they're like man this guy it's comfortable everywhere he goes, you know, like a cat sometimes, you know, cats just find a little corner, they get comfortable, boom. Anyway, I step on, even though it's not my property, I feel like I could just find a little corner and a little cozy spot and bang. Any city and stuff like that. Shit could be going on, earthquakes, it could be bombing on 9-11. I just film that shit and put it on YouTube and be like, all oh, calm and cool about it. No, I'm not saying I, I, nothing is going to happen to me, I could be in danger, but where can I run to? What am I going to do? Ah, freak out. I think some of these entities want that. They miss that fear because they're so used to seeing us and fear in a certain way. Now that they don't see that, they, it's just like, man, they don't know how to deal with it. We're, we're out of the Deuteronomy curses to an extent. We're out of those vibrational frequencies where these, some of these archonic parasites, they're not just archons, they're all the entities that oversee the planet and the cosmos. They don't know how to react to that. They need to get us in fear and they can't get us in fear. They don't know what to do. I just throw the fear frequency out there because I need to get them off me. I feel like some of them are just like, you know, serpents, bloodsuckers, leeches. Like, man, get off me. You see? Stop trying to uh, get a hold of my soul, life soul. If you're not helping me, get the hell away from me. Uh, um, yeah, so anyway, I could be. It could be a crisis. I just be chill, you know, that's just the thing. They don't get no reaction out of me. They think, oh, this guy's like dead. No, I'm not dead. I mean, what do you want me to do? You know, whether it's real or not, there's only so much you could do. I didn't film it. Uh, she laugh at it or just be like, damn, wow. I think maybe that's why they feel they need to shake us up, to wake us up. 
I think it's gotten to the point where only I could I could activate myself you see yeah they could activate me too they could help me but in order for them to get the reaction that they would expect or want out of me I feel like I play a part in that I need to you know I don't know fake it or just give them that natural reaction that the program the matrix is used to getting otherwise I'm just like yeah whatever maybe that's what that's what's bothering them and killing them like man, man we need you to react better well I'm giving you a natural organic reaction you see as lacking as it may be it's just still genuine it's, it's organic it's real <laughs> or lack thereof some would say not even half as reaction so it depends on the individual. Some people would freak out. So others are just more pro primed and ready for certain things to kick off anyways. But you don't want to be in areas of danger too. Like if there's an agenda, there's a cleansing process going on, just get out of the, the hot spots. Or you want to be in, uh, left with a safety boat, so to speak. That's why a lot of people are trying to clean up and be the best version of themselves in these end times. So if something happens, they could be honored or say, okay, well, at least he's doing it or trying. Is it? So anyway, that's it. One hour. Uh, I hope you enjoy the chatter, the rambling. It's therapy for you. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Um, it's just loose talk. It's not like the last video. See, the last video was a little more serious. You can see it, it was more authoritative and direct and real, too. Some truth to what I was saying. Uh, I don't mean to shake you or scare you or anything, but, anyways, um, that's why some people are scared of the truth. Anyways, uh, this video just to kind of inform you what I'm going through, what I'm seeing, I'm feeling things out. I don't know if how how correct I am, how accurate I am, my discernment. But I'm just trying to give you cover as much as many topics and areas, perspectives as I can. I'm uh, sorry if I haven't been active when it comes to the Bible. I will get back to it. But as you can see, the last couple of verses I threw out there, the Bible and the things I exposed, uh, actually I got in trouble for it. There was a manifestation of some of these deities, the little avatars, they kind of harassed me because of it. So as you can see, certain things are meant to be exposed on things I'm not. There's repercussions for me, sharing certain information and stuff like that. So, But, uh, hey man, if you know stuff about me, you want to share it and whatever, and I'm listening. I want to know stuff about me, you see. So... I don't look at it as a bad thing. I want to know about my my history and origin. You know, I might have been a little upset at certain things and like down about them, but now I feel like I think I, I could deal with them better than some of these entities could deal with their history. Maybe because I don't have that bad of a track record compared to others. I think that's probably what it is. And they say goody twos is maybe my, my history is not as bad as a lot of the, theirs is. Maybe that's what it is. But anyways, um... So anyways, I hope you can resonate with the message, meaning understand and comprehend, I understand where I'm coming from. Um, you know, sometimes you don't have to have an overhead view of a situation to get a feeling for what's going on. You see, if you could tap into the spirit on high, that's above these entities probably looking down on them from a higher vantage point, and then sends you the information back down here where you're at. Yeah, you don't need to fret about who has the high ground and who doesn't. So anyways, one love, one harmony. Uh, try to keep the peace, try to get over it, all right? Till next time. <clears throat>